Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we're going to be using the Stamparatus again. And we're going to be using Life is Beautiful and some of the new Quite Curvy. So we're going to start with the Life is Beautiful. And we're starting with a piece of five inch square cardstock. And I'm just going to put that in down on there. And we're going to take this lovely tree, which is absolutely beautiful. It's a really lovely tree that you can fill with all sorts. So you can fill it with autumn leaves, spring leaves, um, snowflakes, all sorts of things. And I just think it's absolutely beautiful. So I want to try and get it to come so that it's going to just come across. I'm just trying to work out which way I want it. I want it so that it's not too high. So it just comes up like that. So let's see if that will work on there and pick it up. It might, it might because it's photopolymer, we might just get it up like that. Yes, we should do. Okay, so let's see if you can see. Can you see the other side? No, not quite. Let's move you across a bit. Very difficult to get both bits on, actually. I can't get both of them on. So um, I'm just going to ink it up in soft suede because that will give a nice dark colour on it. And it is a distinctive stamp, so it means that it's got some lovely sort of colouring on it. So I'm going to put it down and it's going to have to have a little bit of a squish on here. So we'll have to see whether it... I don't know whether it's going to work like that. It might do. Just needs a little bit more up in on here to just take those bits up. It'll work on the other side better, I think, but I just want to take it up this way and hopefully that's better. Then I'm going to turn it on to the other side. So it really doesn't, you don't need to use the stamparatus for this I'm just hoping yeah we're just going to take this in and you don't as I say you don't need to use a stamparatus for this you can just stamp it but I just thought to get the evening position on this it would work better and in fact I should have done it on the other side thinking about it so I'm not bending this but because it's photopolymer it does it's okay, okay to bend, so turn this one round this way. And as I say, I'm doing it with the Stamparatus purely because it will then get even patterning, which is what I want. So, and as I say, I'm going to have to tuck this little tail up a bit so it can come in and then just press it down. As I say, when you do it, do it that side so it sticks out. I've just done it a little bit sort of cack-handed, but it will it will work okay. And then we'll just turn it round again. I love the shape that it's starting to produce. So let's put this one round on here and give it a good old press it's only this top bit because I've got this squishing up on here that it's not liking it too much but as I say that's my fault I should have put it in on the other side okay so we've now got the branches coming in which gives me a really rather lovely excuse my little dog making here a normal little noise of what's going on there we go Right, okay, so we can take that one off. But you can see being photopolymer, it just it hasn't made any difference to that at all. It's exactly the same sort of size. Now, I want to do 
some of the I like the little bird house I think the bird house is ever so pretty so but we want the bird house to be hanging down in the same sort of direction so I'm going to put a little bird house just there I think just on its own so let's the only trouble with photopolymer it does um, get a bit oops sticky come on there we go okay so we'll pick that up and I'm just going to have it down on that side so um, what colour am I going to do my birdhouse I think I want to do it something sort of quite bright so let's have a look at um, I want to have I'm just getting a couple of bits out that I need so I'm going to put okay so I'm going to have the <coughs> the birdhouse in melon mambo and then I'm going to have the little birds now I am going to bring this across this way so you can see it very clearly so let's bring it here can you see that yes you can okay so first of all I am going to just ink up the birdhouse quite sort of quite brightly and then I'm going to take the just the little birds and I'm going to take them off the ink off and we'll do the other side as well just take the ink off there we go and then I can put some whoops one of our stamping right markers and you need to take it on the side and literally just go over it like that then when we come to stamp it so let's move this out of the way our stamping right markers are the same ink that's in our ink pad so if I come back there and put it down here we should have two little bluebirds on there there we are so we've got two little bluebirds which I think is rather pretty so we've got that down on there take that off and then I'm going to so let's put these little birds back in here so that's all I'm going to use out of that set then I'm going to although actually I might put the sentiment in let's put the sentiment in the center and I'm going to have a thinking of you I think because that will work quite nicely or I could just have hello couldn't I that will cover everything let's have hello so I'm just going to put that in on the center make sure that that's straight which it is and then I can pick that up and I'm going to use I think I'm going to use black have I got my memento out yes so I'm just going to use the black for the hello so ink that up and we'll put that down in the center perfect okay so now we need to just sort of fill in some things so I thought we could just put this on I don't want the branches and things in there what I do want to do though is I think I want to try and put some of the little birds in so let's see if I get the birds out we can see where we could fit those so I think I'm going to have a little bird Ah, we might have trouble with the colouring in of the bird because the bird's going to come over the top. So if I was doing birds on there, I would need to, which was my original plan, I would need to do them and then cut them out and then stick them on top. Um, 
which we could do, couldn't we? Um, or what else can we do in there that'll fit into a little space? Um, yes, I think we're going to do the birds. So I want the three birds out like this. And I am going to, so we can take this one out for now. And I just need to take a scrap, which is one of the good things about the Stamparatus, is the fact that you can, and I don't actually need to have the, let's take this out because I don't need to have that in there now, do I? I can just put that up at the top. Um, the good thing about the Stamparatus is that you can stamp a lot of things in one go. So I'm going to take... I've just grabbed a scrap somewhere, haven't I? Here we go. Right, I'm going to pop this little scrap in on here and just put one of those up and then I can do all three birds in one go. So, and you can put them on a block and do them, but if you don't get them at full strength, it does mean that you can um, do them a couple of times to get them as dark as you want. So I'm just going to do these birds in put them down and then we can hopefully see that they're all out. There we go. Beautiful. That'll do. And I think three little birds will be fine. So I can now just clean this off again. There we go. And put these ones back. But I've got my three little birds in there. And there is the die cutting for these to be able to cut these birds out. Um, I think I will probably just be doing them fussy cutting because that might be quicker than running it through my die cutting machine if I can find my little scissors which I don't know whether I've got okay so I think we can take our stamparatus out of the way for now I'm just going to put these bits in I just thought I don't use it enough and I really like it so it would make more sense to actually do it so here's our little card now I'm going to make these little blue birds I think so we're just going to colour them all through in the this is balmy blue and I'm literally just going to colour them through in the balmy blue right the way down this is the light I hope it's the light yes it is the light so I'm just very quickly just colouring them through I love these little birds, they're so pretty. And then I'm going to put this one, which is the dark. So let's see if we can just do it over the head in the dark. Just doing the body down in the dark. like that so we've got just very simple easy little blue birds and then we need to let me just have a look and see if I've got my I've got my scissors out on my desk or have I put them hmm, I think I might have two are we going to die cut them out or are we going to Right, we're going to die cut them out. So let me get my die cutting machine like this. Get out of the way. Put that in so hopefully you can see it. And then we've got the little coordinating dies that go with this. So let me just get those out, which should be just 
one. Do the next one. There we go. I have all my stuff up on my shelves. So this is from the Kirby dies. It's rather nice having dies and. That, that one that's this one isn't it so you have your dies and your that's me trying to do this and talk at the same time so I need to hold on I need to bring it out here so I can see it I'm trying to peer in underneath my camera thing so what I do is I put it because they're quite small ones I put them in and then I take a little bit of low tack tape and just stick that whoop, stick that in over the top like that. So that's one. And then you can take do three at the same time. Let me find the other ones. There we are. There's this little one. Is this one here so again you can put it on and take your little bit of low tack so you can line it up line his little feet up in his little beak and then if I just stick that in on there that's that one stuck in and then we've got this little one here so as I say, it's, it's quite good when you are die cutting things out because you can cut them more than one at a time. Let's just put this one in on here like that. Right. So oops, that's lifting up on itself, isn't it? Why did that happen? Let's get that one in again. I'm going to take it through on the middle bit like this, I think should make it stick down a bit more right now I just need to put my plate in over the top and run it through there we go so I can now move that back out of the way I need to get some new plates but I've got the new quite exciting things in the new catalogue so there might be something coming that um, that I don't then need to use that one right let's take this one back so we've got our little tiny birds that are beautifully die cut out of here just take this off so we've got one little bird that we can have just up there We've got one little bird that we can have just down on here. And we've got one little bird that we can have just down in on the one at the bottom here. Like that. So just sort of sitting up in the branches. And I'd probably use a balmy blue or something as a background for this, but I'm not um, I'm not sure. I wanted to use some green and because it's sort of winter time, I thought maybe to put it on. No, it will need to go in onto a blue, won't it? Let's see if I've got a, a blue that I can just cut down. Hold on. This again is to, um, stamping off the hoof so I've got some blue here so let's just take that down it's five inches so I want it five and a quarter so five and a quarter by five and a quarter so we've got the balmy blue and the balmy blue and then I can put that back in its way where it needs to go. Okay, so it won't go with green. It will go quite nicely with the blue like that. So you've got a nice sort of wintry type card on the blue. I would put these up 
and I could I might actually just take it it does look a little bare doesn't it why don't we put um, the snowflakes we've got these snowflakes here so I think it will look quite nice with the snowflakes let me just get my stamparatus out again and we'll just add some of these little snowflakes and I'm going to put these birds out here so as I say I know that you all um, whiz forward when you need to so please please feel free to do it I'm just um, making sure that I've got what I want to on here so I'm just going to put it down about there um, if oops got my magnets stuck together it's a good job I've got one in there I am actually going to put this down in place because I want to have it lined up so that it works perfectly where we wanted it so where it was lined up before so if you're doing something make sure that you've got it just perfectly um, in fact no let's we're faffing about a bit now so excuse me for that but as I say I'm just doing this sort of on the hoof rather than prepping things beforehand because I know that some of you like to see how I sort of plan things and work through them so I'm going to take I'm just getting a small block out here so let's take that block um, unless will it go in on this one yes it will I'm going to put it on the smallest block and I need to have what blue I think I'm going to have I haven't got balmy blue so I'm probably going to use a what blue is going to work with that um, I'm going to take because I think that that will work just differently from the birds so I'm going to take the pool party and we're just going to just put some of these snowflakes just around the side because that will just build up this picture a little bit more and give it just a little bit of extra interest on there it was the bare branches looked just a little bit too plain for me so take that up in there But I didn't want to have it too bold, but just enough to add a little bit of. Let's turn that round and have a look. Is that sort of balanced? I might put another one just up in on there. Maybe down like that. Yes, I think that's about right. Okay, let's try that and put that then in on this one. like that and then as I say I will put my birds up with dimensionals but I'm just going to put them down for now because otherwise this video has gone on for way too long so we want a little bird facing that way and we'll have him just down a bit on the branch and we can have a little one down at the bottom here which I think looks rather pretty you could actually add more birds if you wanted to but I think that makes a really pretty little card. So, apart from all the faffing about, thank you so much for watching me. As always, please stay safe, please stay well, and please be kind. Bye-bye.